Okay, in this video, we're going to talk a little more about monetizing immediately versus monetizing later down the line your email subscriber list. Now, what we've done is we've come inside of the Aweber interface. Now, you may have get response. It really doesn't matter to what some degree all autoresponders will have the things that I'm going to be showing you here. Now there are two kinds of messages that you can send out when you have an autoresponder. I'm going to show them to you now. You can either send out a follow-up message or you can send out a broadcast message. Let's first talk about a follow-up message and why that's important to you being able to monetize. A follow-up message is a message that you're going to set up in advance for every subscriber that comes to your list to get the same email address, same email. Therefore, you might want to set up the first four messages with pure content or things that are helpful. And then the fifth message, you might then want to show them an affiliate offer with a follow-up message. So if you set up your follow-up messages you'll then be assured of making sure that you're building trust with your subscribers and that you're not just compiling a list just to send them offers and then they will unsubscribe what you're doing with follow-up messages you're making sure that every subscriber gets helpful content as soon as they come to your list now that's one way to do it you can set up any follow-up message anytime with an offer. You can set it up at the beginning of the first five messages, or you can set it at the end, or you can set it up every message. It's advisable, though, for you to build trust probably within the first three to four messages of good content, and then send out a message with an offer. Now let's talk about the other kind of message that you can do. You can also send what's called a broadcast message and I'm going to click in there. A broadcast message is not set up ahead of time. A broadcast message is going to be one that you're going to decide to do regardless of the follow-up messages. So you're going to send out a broadcast message based on something that may have happened in the market, based on something that might happen in the news, based on something that you see that might be beneficial to those who are on your subscriber list. If someone comes out with a new product, and let's say it is a at a special price, and you are an affiliate and you want to make that offer, you will then send out a broadcast message. This broadcast message will be one that you'll be able to do uh, to the benefit of your subscribers. Now again, the most important part is that you are building trust with your subscribers. You don't want to send a broadcast message every day. As it is said about the boy who cried wolf, if you send out something that's very important and you say, it, you say it's important every day, then pretty soon no one will believe you when you send out a message saying hey this is really important you want to read this so you want to use your broadcast messages not all the time but you want to use them in order to tell your subscribers something special something unique something they need to know something that interrupts the pattern again follow-up messages you're going to send ahead of time. Everyone's going to get those. Broadcast messages, only the people who are on your list right now are going to get those messages. So in other words, when people come and join your list after that, they will not get that broadcast message. So if I join your list next week and you send out your broadcast message today, I will never see that broadcast message. It is only for the subscribers that you currently have right now. So why is that important to monetization? Of course, you'll want to use it so that you want to use it so that you are sending out messages that are important when uh, using broadcast and you'll want to set up messages for everyone using the follow-up system. So with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.